Bora TV. The world is thinking. So we're looking at, are, are there, is there a type of person who's critically engaged in these media or, you know, is it all just, is it something that we all do? So there was a, a study that came out, or this, it's not really a study, it's more just um, a descriptor, and there's this one nine ninety rule. And in any social media, in anything where you have audience feedback, you'll have 1% of people who are absolute power users, 9% of people who are casual users. So they'll, they'll get on there and they'll say things, but, you know, they don't live or die by it. And the rest of us, 90% of us, are just lurkers. So is there such a thing as a type? Do we know much about people who, um, who get out there and really want to have their say and, and are not necessarily well-mannered or honest or, or authentic in what they're doing? Is there, a, is there a profile for users at that level? Apparently the Italians, isn't that it? <laughs> I think if you look at the, um, the entire web audience, I think 10% will contribute... Um, actually physically into the content and 6% actually create the content. The people actually have voice who want to express themselves. And I do think the way that the technology has evolved over the past, let's say, six to ten years, and it's, it's really been the first time that we can actually collectively talk amongst ourselves without having to use things like email or, um, or you know, a, a snail mail. And that you can connect, I can connect with people on this side of the world very easily and have a conversation with, around any particular subject. So it's that kind of need to express ourselves, which everybody will do to, to a certain degree. And so I think there's a kind of sliding scale of I'm, I need that attention, which there are people within, you know, mm. it's human nature, and they'll be more expressive, they'll talk more, it'll have you know, a much bigger personality online. Whereas people who are quite happily to be slightly more passive, but still connect, have a voice and a means to do that. Mm. So I just think if you look at the kind of, the personality mix between, a, you know, between the kind of, I don't know, zero to ten, there are three in this camp, two in this, one in this, and mm. the, the others, whatever number's left. Which so I'm, where do, I'm interested, Andy, where the mm -hmm. anonymous commentators or commenters uh, fit into this spectrum, because I just a, hell of a, a hell of a lot of people have this sort of disinhibition, don't they? Mm. As soon as they get online and they lose their name and their visual identity, they just let it rip. Mm in the most extraordinary ways. Yeah, and I think there's two, there's two sides to that. One is that that's human nature and that people will do that. There is jealousy in there and they will fight, if they can find a way to do that. And anger. And anger. But also there's an, the other side which is disinformation. If you look at the way, because uh, we worked with Al Jazeera recently in the, some of the Middle East stuff they did within Libya and Tunisia and they have a real challenge trying to work out who's telling the truth, mm. who's not and who works for the CIA. Yeah. So trying to trying to get to the disinformation within social networks is a nightmare because there's many, many tools that are available that are kind of that create false characters and personalities that and are whose used... whose agenda are they peddling? Well, mm. you know, tobacco companies can create artificial personalities to sell and promote their products or, or gambling companies can create these false representations online to, to actually befriend, you know, members of the fairer sex to spend money. So there's many different facets to the use of these anonymous profiles, whether it's an individual or a commercial organisation or a government agency, which they will do it, you know, to, mm. to, to use these social tools. So that spectrum of wow. characters, it's just, I think it's, it's just human nature. And we mm. have to, it's now, it's like a box that's been opened and we've created, we've got this set of tools that lets me talk to that gentleman there or the lady over there or the camera person. I've never met them before in my life, but I can be anybody I want to be because mm. I've got this simple set of tools and devices if I, if I wanted to be.